My name is Jimmy Shaw. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Instruction for Florence City Schools. I am here to answer the question for the new teachers, how is it that we ensure mastery of standards for our students? When we discuss mastery of standards for our students, we have two different approaches. The first approach is a longitudinal diagnostic look. We start to test students in second grade, really all the way through 12th grade, on a diagnostic assessment called performance series. We test them in reading and mathematics. They take their first assessment in the fall in August. That gives our teachers baselines data for the standards that the students have already mastered and that they have yet to go to master in a subject area. They basically, we expect you all to adjust your instruction, um, form your small groups based on some of that information, and then teach diligently until the end of the first semester. In January, we'll ask you to test those students again. That'll give you some idea of how the students actually responded to the instruction um, and responded to the changes that you made in instruction. And that January also gives us a launching point for our summative assessment in performance series, which we will take at the end uh, of April. So those three pieces give you three unique snapshots of where students are, and they allow you to be able to adjust instruction based on information that is standards driven. It's not something you have to crosswalk, it's not something you have to correlate. When you get their report back in performance series, you know what your students do not know. And that is a great thing. Um, if you need more help with it, you all have seven IPs across this district that are phenomenal, as well as your principals who are great instructional leaders. The other way that we look at it to ensure that uh, master of standards has happened is we give benchmark assessments. And here are what benchmark assessments basically are. If you go back to your college days where you had uh, a midpoint, a midterm, and a final on exam, that's what benchmarks are. Basically, we have asked all of our teachers in the district to scope and sequence, pace and align standards for their subject areas. They have chunked that in nine week chunks and we asked them to give a benchmark assessment to each of nine weeks, it, at the end of each of the nine weeks, to, to basically understand what students were able to master and not master for that nine weeks. We have a data day at the end of each nine weeks, and part of that data day is to give you all time to really dig through that data to understand what your students mastered or didn't master for a nine weeks period of what you directly taught them to come up with an action plan to address what the students did not learn to be able to, to make adjustments to your pacing and to make adjustments to the next nine weeks uh, benchmark assessment. We really feel like those two pieces, the diagnostic longitudinal piece, as well as the benchmark piece that checks every nine weeks, gives you a great plan to understand what they know and, and how they've grown overall with performance and what they have learned and mastered as you have taught them for the nine weeks. Um, as with any plan, it takes time and there are adjustments with it, but we feel like if you will be diligent about looking at that data and talking with your colleagues and collaboratively planning and really knowing what your students know and really making adjustments, not based on what you think, but on the actual data, we will take our students to new heights in foreign city schools.